Ever wondered how the great minds of history conquered adversity? The answer lies in a philosophy that has stood the test of time. Welcome to the world of Stoicism, where resilience is forged and true success is born. In this video, we're revealing the top 5 Stoic habits that can catapult your life to new heights. Without further ado, let's start this journey and unlock the secrets to a life of purpose, strength, and fulfillment. 1. Practice self-awareness and mindfulness to achieve success in all areas of your life. Practicing self-awareness and mindfulness is a crucial step towards achieving success in all areas of life. This approach, rooted in ancient philosophical traditions like Stoicism, focuses on understanding oneself at a deep level. The first Stoic habit for success is, therefore, to cultivate a sense of being fully present in the moment while being acutely aware of one's thoughts, emotions, strengths and weaknesses. This practice is not just about introspection, but about gaining a clear and honest perspective of oneself, which is essential for personal growth and achievement. Understanding self-awareness begins with the recognition that our thoughts and emotions play a significant role in how we perceive the world and react to it. Renowned philosopher and Stoic Seneca once said, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This highlights the importance of being mindful of our thoughts and the narratives we tell ourselves. By paying attention to our inner dialogue, we can identify patterns of negative thinking or self-doubt that may hinder our progress. Mindfulness helps us to distinguish between constructive thoughts and those that are detrimental to our well-being. Moreover, self-awareness involves recognizing our strengths and weaknesses. This isn't about self-criticism or arrogance, but about having a realistic understanding of our capabilities. Knowing where we excel can guide us to opportunities where we can thrive, while understanding our limitations can help us seek improvement or support where needed. This balanced self-perception leads to better decision-making, as we can approach situations with a clearer sense of what we can contribute and what we need to learn. In practice, mindfulness and self-awareness can be developed through various techniques such as meditation, reflective journaling and mindful breathing exercises. These practices help in calming the mind and centering oneself in the present moment. They encourage a state of openness and non-judgment, allowing us to observe our thoughts and emotions without being overwhelmed by them. As the Dalai Lama wisely stated, the mind is like a parachute, it works best when it's open. An open mind, free from preconceived notions and biases, is more receptive to learning and personal growth. Being mindful and self-aware also significantly improves our decision-making process. It enables us to respond to situations rather than react impulsively. In a fast-paced world, where we are often required to make quick decisions, having this mental clarity is invaluable. It allows us to weigh our options more carefully and consider the long-term consequences of our actions. Furthermore, in challenging or stressful situations, mindfulness and self-awareness can be powerful tools. They help in maintaining composure and perspective. When faced with adversity, being aware of our emotional state enables us to stay calm and think logically rather than being driven by anxiety or frustration. This emotional regulation is crucial in both personal and professional contexts. Importantly, cultivating these qualities can also lead to improved relationships. When we are aware of our emotions and how they influence our behavior, we can communicate more effectively and empathetically. This understanding fosters deeper connections and helps in resolving conflicts in a constructive manner. In summary, the practice of self-awareness and mindfulness is a foundational habit for success. It enhances our understanding of ourselves, 
improves our decision-making, aids in emotional regulation, and strengthens our relationships. As we become more attuned to our inner selves and the world around us, we pave the way for a more fulfilled and successful life. 2. Embrace obstacles and challenges to achieve success in all areas of your life. Embracing obstacles and challenges is a crucial principle of Stoicism and a pivotal attitude for achieving success in all areas of life. This philosophical stance, which has been advocated by Stoic philosophers like Seneca, Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius, is not just about enduring hardships, but about transforming them into opportunities for personal growth and learning. By adopting this mindset, we can approach life's inevitable challenges with resilience, determination and a sense of purpose, rather than being paralyzed by fear or frustration. Stoicism teaches that the way we perceive events is more important than the events themselves. Epictetus famously stated, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This perspective is vital in today's world, where change and uncertainty are the only constants. When faced with obstacles, whether in our personal or professional lives, our reaction to these challenges determines our success. Instead of perceiving them as insurmountable barriers, we can view them as stepping stones to greater achievements. The ability to embrace challenges is a testament to one's character. It involves seeing every difficulty as a chance to strengthen our resolve and enhance our skills. When we confront obstacles head-on, we not only learn to deal with similar situations better in the future, but also develop a deeper understanding of our capabilities. This process of continuous learning and adaptation is essential for long-term success and fulfillment. Moreover, embracing challenges requires a shift in mindset from seeing obstacles as threats to viewing them as opportunities. This shift enables us to remain calm and focused in the face of adversity, allowing us to think clearly and find creative solutions. As Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wisely noted, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. In essence, Obstacles can propel us forward, provided we approach them with the right mindset. In the realm of professional growth, embracing challenges is particularly important. The business world is replete with uncertainty, competition and rapid change. Those who can adapt and turn obstacles into opportunities are more likely to thrive. This stoic approach fosters resilience a key trait for any successful professional or entrepreneur. It's not the absence of challenges that defines success, but the ability to overcome them and emerge stronger. In personal development too, this mindset is invaluable. Life's challenges, whether related to relationships, health or personal goals, test our resilience and character. By embracing these challenges, we can develop a stronger sense of self, greater emotional intelligence, and an enhanced capacity for empathy and understanding. Embracing obstacles also means being proactive in seeking solutions and taking responsibility for our actions. It involves a commitment to self-improvement and the understanding that every challenge presents a learning opportunity. As John F. Kennedy eloquently put it, do not pray for easy lives, pray to be stronger men. In summary, the stoic principle of embracing obstacles and challenges is a powerful approach to achieving success in all areas of life. It requires a paradigm shift in how we perceive and react to difficulties, seeing them not as setbacks but as opportunities for growth, learning and development. This attitude helps us to remain resilient adaptable and focused, enabling us to navigate the complexities of life with confidence and purpose. 3. Focus on what you can control to achieve success in all areas of your life. Focusing on what you can control is a fundamental tenet of Stoicism 
and a vital strategy for achieving success in all areas of life. This ancient philosophy, which has been practiced by great thinkers like Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, encourages us to differentiate between what is within our control and what is not. The Stoics believed that our power lies in our ability to control our thoughts, actions and attitudes, rather than external factors beyond our reach. One of the core ideas of Stoicism is eloquently summarized by Epictetus. We cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. This philosophy teaches us that while we cannot control every aspect of our lives, such as other people's opinions, the weather or global events, we have complete authority over our reactions to these circumstances. By focusing our energy on areas where we have influence, we avoid wasting time and mental resources on things beyond our control. When we concentrate on what we can control, we reduce unnecessary stress and anxiety. Stress often arises from a feeling of powerlessness over events or other people's actions. By accepting that certain things are beyond our control and shifting our focus to our own behavior and decisions, we can maintain a sense of calm and composure even in challenging situations. This attitude not only promotes mental well-being, but also leads to more effective problem-solving and decision-making. Furthermore, this habit helps us develop inner peace and stability. Our happiness and sense of accomplishment are no longer tethered to external factors, but are grounded in our own actions and attitudes. This shift in perspective fosters resilience as we become less vulnerable to external disruptions and more centered in our own values and goals. In the context of personal and professional development, focusing on what we can control means actively working on our skills, setting realistic goals and responding constructively to feedback. It involves taking responsibility for our actions and continually seeking ways to improve ourselves. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. In relationships, this principle translates to focusing on our behavior, communication and the way we respond to others. While we cannot control how others act or feel, we can control how we interact with them, the boundaries we set and the empathy we show. Focusing on what we can control also means being proactive in our approach to life. Instead of being reactive to situations, we take the initiative to create positive change in our lives. This proactive stance empowers us to make decisions aligned with our values and goals, rather than being swayed by external pressures or fleeting emotions. In summary, the practice of focusing on what we can control is a powerful tool for achieving success in various aspects of life. It encourages us to invest our energy wisely, develop resilience and maintain a sense of inner peace and stability by recognizing the limits of our control and directing our efforts towards what we can influence. We pave the way for a more fulfilling and effective life. Four. Practice self-discipline and moderation to achieve success in all areas of your life. Practicing self-discipline and moderation is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy and a crucial habit for achieving success in all facets of life. This Stoic principle emphasizes the importance of controlling our desires and impulses steering clear of instant gratification in favor of long-term satisfaction and fulfillment. The Stoics, including figures like Seneca, Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus, understood that mastery over one's desires and the ability to practice self-restraint are key to achieving both personal and professional success. Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher, succinctly expressed this idea. It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. 
This highlights the Stoic belief that true wealth and happiness come from within, not from external possessions or fleeting pleasures. By practicing self-discipline and moderation, we learn to appreciate what we have and find contentment in simplicity. In the context of today's society, the relevance of this Stoic habit becomes even more pronounced. We live in an age where the culture of instant gratification is pervasive. From fast food to social media, we are continually enticed by the allure of immediate rewards. However, these short-lived pleasures often distract us from our long-term goals and can lead to negative consequences such as poor health, financial instability or unfulfilling relationships. Developing self-discipline helps us resist these temptations and remain focused on our objectives. It is about making conscious, deliberate choices rather than succumbing to impulsive desires. This does not mean leading a life of severe restriction or denial, but finding a healthy balance where our actions align with our long-term aspirations and values. Practicing moderation is equally important, it involves finding a middle ground between excess and deficiency. Aristotle, the ancient Greek philosopher, emphasized this in his concept of the golden mean, where virtue is seen as a balance between two extremes. By applying moderation to our habits, whether in eating, working or leisure, we create a sustainable lifestyle that supports our well-being and long-term success. Self-discipline and moderation also play a critical role in decision-making. When we have control over our impulses, we can make decisions that are rational and well-considered, rather than being driven by fleeting emotions or external pressures. This leads to better outcomes in both personal and professional realms. Furthermore, these practices contribute to our mental and emotional resilience, Self-discipline fosters a sense of self-efficacy, the belief in our ability to handle challenges and achieve our goals. It strengthens our willpower, helping us to persevere in the face of adversity. Moderation, on the other hand, prevents burnout and maintains our mental and physical health, which is essential for sustained success. In summary, practicing self-discipline and moderation is essential for achieving success in all areas of life. These stoic habits help us control our desires, resist the temptations of instant gratification, and make choices that are in line with our long-term goals. By mastering these practices, we cultivate a life of balance, contentment, and lasting fulfillment, staying true to the wise words of the Stoics and finding our own path to happiness and success. 5. Cultivate gratitude and humility to achieve success in all areas of your life. Cultivating gratitude and humility is an essential aspect of Stoicism and a significant factor in achieving success in all areas of life. Stoicism an ancient philosophy that has influenced countless individuals through the ages, teaches the importance of appreciating what we have and maintaining a grounded perspective, regardless of our achievements or status. This practice is not only about being thankful for the positive aspects of our lives, but also about recognizing and accepting our limitations and the transience of material success. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. This statement encapsulates the essence of gratitude in the Stoic perspective. It is about focusing on the present and appreciating the value of what we currently possess, rather than constantly seeking more or lamenting what is absent. Practicing gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to the abundance that exists in our lives, fostering a sense of contentment and well-being. In a world that often prioritizes material success and external achievements, Stoicism offers a counterbalance. It reminds us of the importance of humility in the face of success. Humility is not about self-deprecation or denying one's accomplishments. Rather, 
It's about recognizing that our achievements are often the result of a combination of personal effort, the support of others, and circumstantial factors. Acknowledging this interdependence fosters a sense of humility and helps us remain grounded. Practicing gratitude and humility also enhances our ability to appreciate the present moment. In the relentless pursuit of future goals, it's easy to overlook the value of the here and now. By being grateful and humble, we learn to value our current experiences, relationships and accomplishments, understanding that they are transient and should not be taken for granted. Moreover, these practices help maintain perspective, especially in the face of success. Achievements can sometimes lead to arrogance or a sense of superiority. Gratitude and humility act as anchors, reminding us that success is not an entitlement, but a privilege that comes with responsibilities. They help us to stay connected to our values and principles, which are crucial for long-term success and fulfillment. Furthermore, gratitude and humility have a positive impact on our relationships. By appreciating others and recognizing their contributions to our lives, we build stronger, more authentic connections. Humility allows us to be open to learning and growth, as it acknowledges that there is always something new to learn from the world around us. In addition, these practices contribute to our emotional and mental well-being. Gratitude has been linked to increased happiness, reduced stress and improved mental health. It encourages a positive outlook on life, even in challenging circumstances. Humility, on the other hand, fosters resilience as it prepares us to face failures and setbacks with a balanced perspective. In summary, cultivating gratitude and humility is a fundamental aspect of Stoicism and a key to achieving success in all areas of life. These practices remind us to appreciate what we have, stay grounded in our achievements and maintain a connection to our values and principles. By embracing gratitude and humility, we not only enhance our own well-being, but also contribute positively to the lives of those around us, paving the way for a more fulfilling and meaningful life. And so, we reach the end of our stoic journey, a path woven with the timeless threads of wisdom and resilience. Remember, stoicism is not just a philosophy, it's a way of life. It empowers you to face the world with courage, equanimity, and a heart fortified against the tempests of fate. As you step forward from here, carry these five stoic virtues as your armor in the quest for a life of purpose and fulfillment. And if you're seeking more insights, more inspiration to navigate the vicissitudes of life, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join our community for more content like this, where wisdom of the ages is just a click away. Until next time, continue to live bravely.